You've never seen a galaxy like this. These bits are the only thing left of it after a collision with Centaurus A, a cannibal galaxy. Around 200 million to 700 million years ago, Centaurus A swallowed up the space flesh of an unnamed galaxy. Just like a praying mantis catches its prey, its remnants formed this unusual dark disk. And that's not the only bizarre object in our universe. Today I'm inviting you to join a virtual tour around the most unusual places in outer space. You'll find out which galaxy is a battleground for two implacable enemies, who the only face-shaped nebula resembles, and finally, we'll find out which places in the universe are the most remarkable. You obviously already know that all scales and numbers in space are much greater than here on Earth. The approximate temperature of our planet's core is 5,000 degrees Celsius, while well, that of the solar core reaches as much as 15 million degrees. So just imagine a few million suns in their prime grouped together in one place. This is the ultra-hot Star Factory ARP-220. The Hubble Space Telescope spotted 200 colossal star clusters here. These stars with high core pressures are pretty massive. It makes them gobble up their fusion fuel at a frenetic rate. As a result, the stars quickly run out of hydrogen and die young. In just 500 million years, this frenzied star formation will end and most of the stars will turn into yellow dwarfs. When they do, they'll be no more fascinating to watch than light bulbs in some old factory. But what about extreme cold? This is the Boomerang Nebula. While the average space temperature runs 2.7 Kelvin, the Boomerang Nebula is just 1 Kelvin, which makes it the coldest location in the universe. It's simple, the Boomerang Nebula ejects gas at insane speeds, so be careful. Getting trapped in this area is infinitely scarier than trying to cross the street in Thailand. Besides, these emissions not only block space microwaves that could heat the nebula up, but they even carry heat away from the interstellar clouds. But if this extreme temperature can somehow be explained, there are phenomena in outer space we certainly never expected to see. Have you heard of this contemporary cubist painting, the Red Rectangle Nebula? Astronomers are struggling to understand how the universe managed to draw a geometrical figure like that, as, in fact, it really shouldn't be possible for there to be any straight lines in space at all. They suggest that this perfect shape of two cones whose tips meet in the center appeared under the influence of shock waves. And that's hardly a surprise. Most great works of art have been created at the cost of great suffering. Pay attention to the fact that this space gallery offers not only abstract paintings, but some portraits as well. In the NGC 3324 Nebula, true literature fans will see something that caused major controversy in the scientific world. Strong emissions and stellar winds produced by several hot young stars crafted a design that clearly resembles the profile of a famous Chilean poet, Gabriela Mistral. Although, honestly, this silhouette reminds me of another well-known person, and distant space would be the best place to send him to, no spacesuit needed. But even then, it wouldn't be the weirdest object in the universe. Some galaxies just can't peacefully coexist in the universe. For example, the galaxies M82 and M81 are chasing each other around like some kind of reckless street racers. M82 looks as if someone's blown up its nucleus with dynamite. Modern photographic techniques reveal fountains of gas streaming out of its center. The thing is, M82 and M81 are drifting around and through each other. In the end, these galaxies will collide and merge into one big galaxy. This odd interaction between them has resulted in M82 being the brightest of the currently known galaxies. If you got close enough to it, you could even go blind. 
space conflicts arise even between objects that used to make a great team, or at least seem to. A quarrel like this happened in Stefan's Quintet in the constellation of Pegasus. At first glance, these five galaxies seemed to be a close-knit cluster, but that was until the year 2000, when the Hubble Space Telescope snapped one of the Quintet's galaxies, namely NGC 7320, that turned out to be lying much closer to us than its neighbors. Alas, the quintet broke up into a quartet and a solo act. But there are occasions when strained relationships between galaxies grow into competitions and truly tough battles. Taking a tour around the antennae galaxies is like getting inside the Crash Team racing trailer and living through it in real time. Several hundred million years ago, 45 million light years away from Earth, the NGC 4038 and NGC 4039 galaxies collided. These two titans locked into an embrace and were ejecting material that triggered the birth of the antennae galaxies. Our galaxy will experience almost the same thing in about 5 billion years when it collides with the Andromeda galaxy. If we study the antennae galaxies well enough, we can already see how this crash plot will develop. Meanwhile, the nature of the following fight is really perplexing. The Black Eye Galaxy wasn't given this name because the astronomer in charge was bored. At first, it was called M64 and was living its routine and uneventful life. Then, everything changed. Scientists assumed that it collided with another unknown galaxy one billion years ago, and the two space objects merged into one. The shearing zone, where the two opposing gassy segments rub against each other, instigates new star production, and the colossal dust cloud is the remnant of M64's former opponent. It hasn't yet had time to fully merge with the main galaxy's disk. It turns out that it's a battle between two entities inside one single galaxy. But promise me you'll keep it a secret, since the first rule of the Intergalactic Fight Club is you do not talk about the Intergalactic Fight Club. Of course, humanity can still only dream of touring around these places at least for now. But our home planet also has a lot of extraordinary things up its sleeve, and we can go and see them with our own eyes. For instance, Death Valley in Eastern California with its mysterious sailing stones, Fly Geyser in Nevada, or the amazing Riddle comment section. Where would you like to travel to first? And if you want to learn more about our universe, check out this video where I show and analyze the strangest planets known to science.